everyone, let's get this started with a warm up as always. We're gonna bring the heart rate up, get your metabolism up, increase your body temperature, and increase your blood supply so your muscles can actually work. So here we go, double jumping, left to right, two jumps on each foot. And you can move this out a little bit further to the sides, moving laterally if you want to, or play around with going forward and backwards or diagonally. So this one is mobility and athletic work. And with mobility, I mean, we want to increase our flexibility, our range of motion, great for better recovery and also greater strength. There we go. We do get warmed up here. High new run in five seconds. Pause if you need to, otherwise, let's go. So run on the spot, pick those knees up. Knees fly up to hip height and get those arms running as well. So the arms swing forward and backwards contrarily to your legs. Keep breathing. You can do this. Now I'd like you to focus on your core. So feel those knees being pulled up from the inside of your abs. Honey runs, this is a great ab work. You could basically get a six pack only from running. I swear, five more seconds. All right, take a breath. Pulse squats coming up. If you need a break, hit the pause button, otherwise, we're ready to go. So pulse squat, pushing the hips backwards and down. Make sure that the knees do not come forward of your toes. Now to engage your back, lift those arms overhead. Thumbs are pointing backwards. To increase the intensity, make sure to only pulse from mid to low. And with low, I mean that your hips and your knees are at the same level. Come on, try it. That's 10 more seconds. Great. Plank to V, getting on the floor. Come on, you don't need to pause this. We can just continue getting into plank position here. Get ready. Hands underneath your shoulders, then push the hips backwards and up, and then roll it forward into your perfect plank position, being shoulders and hips at the same level. Pushing backwards, leading with the hips, pushing the shoulders and the chest down. And when you roll forward, pull the navel in, rounding your back, engage the core, and come into your plank position, shoulders over hands. Five more seconds. How do you like this music? I think it's great. Last one before we come into our stretch routine is the butterfly stretch. We're opening the hips here in deep temple pose and then come up into tabletop. So push your knees out, widen your feet, and you can do this at your own speed. So push the elbows against the inside of your knees opening your hips and then fold forward into tabletop back parallel to the floor if you want to engage the back even more extend the arms forward a little bit of a hamstring stretch here engaging the hamstrings engaging the back latissimus arms five more seconds and then we stretch Wonderful. Let's get into our stretch routine. So this is mobility. So make sure you really do get a dynamic stretch here. Open the legs, twist to the left. High lunge. Stay dynamic, warming up the tendons, the muscle, the connective tissue. Lower down with the hands. 
to the low lunge. Then keep the right hand on the floor, open the left to the sky, rotating your chest towards the bent knee. Keep moving, keep breathing. Open up those hips and then come back to center, step slightly together, folding forward into forward fold for your left hamstrings. If you feel like it, you can lift the toes, pushing the heels of the forward leg into the ground, increasing the stretch, and then come down. We're ready for 10 push-ups. Feet on knees, bend the elbows, getting the chest towards the floor. Count to 10. After 10, you can bring your left foot forward again. Well done. Come to center, bend the left knee, fold forward, stretch the inside of your right thigh. Stay bouncy. And then half squat onto your left leg, lifting your right toe. Come to center, change side. Bend the right knee, stretching the inside of the left thigh, adductor stretch here, and then stretch all the way down, low down into half squat, lifting the toes, extend the arms forward, or keep them on the ground as you wish. Then twist all over to the other side, right foot is forward now, come to high lunge first, Rolling over your back toes. Working on the mobility of your first toe joint. Opening the hips, then come into low lunge. Hands down on the ground, left and right of your foot. Left hand stays on the floor, right hand opens, so the chest is rotating towards your right knee. Perfect, step a little bit further together, hamstring stretch, folding forward. Again, you can lift your toes, digging the right heel into the ground, increasing the stretch on your hamstrings. And then get ready. Last cool warm up here, mountain climbers, 20, that's 10 each. Pull the knees 20 times towards the chest. Step back forward with the right leg, come into center, rolling up. And here we go. We are ready and set to go for our athletic work. Starting with side shuffle. So we're starting in squat position, touching the ground with the inner hand. Boom, then side shuffling. Three to five steps, depending on how much space you have. And then touch the ground with the inner hand. Outer hand goes behind the ear. A little bit of an extension here. Work on the shoulder blades. Three to five shuffles to the sides. And then squat jump, touching the ground. Speed it up if you can. Last 10 seconds. A little bit faster. Keep breathing. Well done. Introducing a new step or a new exercise, jump forward, pedal backward. So we're starting in squat position, jumping forward. Use your arms to extend and jump forward, use the momentum, and then get back up as quickly as possible, running backwards. When getting up or when in the squat position, swing those arms backwards as quickly as possible as soon as you hit the floor. This will allow you to get into that backward movement from the forward and down movement. So swing those arms back as soon as you hit the floor. Jump forward, pedal backwards, swing the arms back. Keep going, 10 more seconds. Keep it moving. 
And you're allowed to have a break if you need to. You got 10 seconds rest otherwise to get into cross jacks. Feet open and cross. Once forward, another time backwards. Same with the hands, crossing over and under. Hands are flexed, so you're engaging the arms. Keep the shoulders low and now cross it. Forward and back, up and down. For your knee safety, keep your feet parallel when opening and then slightly turn your feet out when crossing. 10 more seconds, keep going, speed it up. Well done. 10 seconds to psychologically prepare for burpees. Introducing burpees here. Start with a jump, then get those hands on the floor, jump back into plank, jump back forward and squat jump up, extending the body. Engage the core to not dip those hips lower than your shoulders when you're jumping back into plank. Halfway through, keep going. Keep those elbows bent, protecting your joints. Now, jump up from your squat. 10 more seconds to go. Keep it going. <whistles> Wonderful, you got this. I got two more standing exercises for you before we go down on the floor for the core. Three pulse jump lunges, stepping backwards, then jumping towards the bent knee side, so the leg that's forward, jumping towards that side, then stepping forward and changing side. You should be ending up of moving sideways towards the forward leg. Use your arms and you can move as far sideways as you want to, halfway through. Make sure to lower the back knee down all the way to the floor. Both knees are 90 degrees. Keep the chest up, shoulders above the hips as much as possible. Five more seconds. And here's your last one standing, front jack, simple exercise. Basically a shoulder opener. with a little bit of a cardio. All right, arms paddle forwards and backwards while your feet jump forward and backwards. The weight is on the front leg. Bend the front leg as much as you can and then jump back up, elastic, speed. Working on your coordination skills here in our athletic work. Increasing range of motion in the shoulder girdle. So keep moving those arms backwards as much as possible, engaging your upper back. Five more seconds. Perfect, come on. Get down on the floor, static elbow plank. If you need a rest, press pause, otherwise, here we go. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Hips are shoulder height. Now lengthen your neck, nose is pointing towards the floor, forearms are parallel. Now suck the navel in, engaging the core, bring the belly up. You're halfway through. Engage your whole body. Make sure your hips don't dip. 10 more seconds. Perfect. Last one up, plank step. This is an easy one, working your mobility in your hips. So don't press pause, just keep going. Step back into plank position. Hands are under your shoulder and then bring one leg front to low lunge at a time. Step outside of your hands. 
without stepping on your hands. And then dynamically swing those hips down and up, helping you to lift out of your lunge again, move those hips up. Stay strong in your shoulders, elbows slightly bent, hands are underneath your shoulders and you got five more seconds. Keep working, stepping back and forward. Perfect, you got this. Come on, get back up into standing. Stretch it all out. We're having a cool down and a stretch here from our athletic work and mobility training. So grab your right heel, pull it all the way to your butt. Shift the hips forward, contract the glutes slightly. Keep both thighs parallel and for your balance. I know you might be breathing heavily, but keep your balance and focus one point with your eyes. Then change sides, grab the left ankle with your left hand. Pull the foot all the way to your hip. Shift the hips forward, thighs are parallel. If you feel that your hips are extremely tight, you might bend the right knee, the standing knee a little bit. And then shift the hips forward a little more. Start to slow your breathing down. Breathe in your belly, in and out. And then let go, another balance. Figure four, standing stretch. So cross the right ankle over your left knee and sit your hips back and down. Opening the knee here, you can use your hand to adjust the hip opening. You should feel a, a slight stretch in the middle of your butt cheek and extend both arms up, engaging the back here. Lift the chest, thumbs are pointing backwards. Keep your balance. Breathing deep into your belly. And change sides to get back up. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. First, sit back and down into a mid squat at least. Externally rotate the bent knee, left knee. Adjust whatever is necessary with your hands and then open the arms wide overhead, thumbs are pointing backwards. Lift the chest, lift the gaze. Breathing in deeply, breathing out deeply, sitting a little bit lower. And then come back up, both feet parallel on the ground, side stretch. You can make soft fists with both hands and have both hands to your hips and stretch it all the way to the side, crossing the same leg back to increase the stretch on the whole side body. Now alternate left and right. Alternating exercises are great to identify differences between both sides. If you feel that any side needs a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can always stay a few more seconds on that side. Perfect, and then release the whole back body. Keep your feet parallel, hip width apart, bend the knees, fold forward, nose to the knee, relax your back, relax the head. If you want to, you can shake your head to relax the neck. Then let go fully. Hands may reach the floor or grab your calves or ankles or thighs or whatever. If you want to be dynamic, inhale, bend the knees a little, exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, bend knees, 
exhale, stretch. Then bend both knees, roll up into standing and we're coming down on the floor. Introducing a new stretch here, the Cobra T-Spider <laughs> Twist. So what's that? Lie on the belly, then open your arms to a T-shape. Bend the right knee 90 degrees and then twist over the lower body so that your foot is starting to touch the left side, the left floor, the floor on your left side. Both hands stay on the ground. So this is a spine twist, a hip opener, and also a shoulder opener. Then come back to center, bend the other knee. Left knee is coming to the right. Keep the knee open. And then touch the floor with your left toe, tip of your foot. Both hands are staying on the ground. We're going a little bit further here. So how about this, come back to center and now open the arms into a V shape, V position, palms still facing the floor, then again bend the right knee, twist the lower body over, tip of your toe touching the ground. This is a bit stronger shoulder opener, so be gentle with your shoulder. Then slowly come back, stretch the leg out, bend the left knee, twist the lower body over to the right, tip of your toe touching the ground, both arms stay in a V position, opening the shoulder here on the right side, adjust the arm if something doesn't feel good, so adjust the arm position if you need to, but keep it in a V shape. And then you can either stay with that option just one more time, or we're going up into a cobra position. So come onto your fingertips, hands are at both sides of your shoulder. Now again, bend the right knee, twist the leg over, and now push yourself up slightly and turn the other way. So you're turning your head and your shoulders towards the left. And then change over to the other side. This is your last stretch, rotating the whole spine here. Well done, well-deserved shower, drink, whatever you're doing next. And I'll see you all for the next boot camp, high intensity interval training, working on all of those skills that make you fitter and fiercer. See you there.